Hello everybody! At long last, after promise after promise of uh, delivering this game uh, were not delivered, I have now um, the ability to present Hall of Famers United versus Celtic in the 10th episode of Legends and Friends Go Global. And of course the uh, consequences and the permutations will be uh, fully in effect here. Uh, Celtic have uh, four games in hand over us, but their co points uh, cushion isn't necessarily uh, big. So if we can get the victory over them today in our 30th game of the year, then we will go on to 69 points. Um, I'll leave you uh, to fill in that space. Um, but there we go. If we win, we'll be on the 69 points, leaving Celtic very, very near to our clutches but I certainly can't rule out them responding uh, with force. They know how important this game is. They've lost Brendan Rodgers as manager, but it hasn't stopped some of their amazing form going back to near enough Christmas. So if we're going to halt the uh, juggernaut of the Glasgow boys, we need to get them to succumb to a defeat on the road, just like they did against West Ham. Um, we will certainly be... Uh, looking out for them again in the Bronze Cup and then another match at uh, Celtic Park which will be near enough um, the start of May um, so absolutely crucial games coming up but if they're going to win the league they're going to have to defeat some of the other top quality sides in the Bronze uh, division such as Stoke, Mainz and Bremen so I would have to admit here and now if Celtic go on to win the league then they absolutely deserve it uh, especially with that kind of run-in. But anyway, the kind of uh, quality players they have on show shouldn't be um, underestimated. They've been making transfer deals as well in the market. Um, I don't know if Adam Bogdan or any of these players have been playing. Um, he actually has, so that's interesting enough. we got Jefferson on a free transfer there. Doesn't have a goal to his name yet. Um, other interesting moves, I suppose. Yeah, Derdyuk Boyata on loan there, Callum McGregor, uh, Scott Sinclair, so some very interesting moves, but let's uh, talk about the most recent games since we last spoke, um, that would have been around the Ventus game, which we were uh, victorious by three goals to one, um, let's see Copenhagen, um, we beat them 3-1 at the Tele Park End Stadium, um, it did require a bit of patience, but we got the job done, Pashuka gave us the defeat uh, by the goal to nail from Kelechi Ihinacho. Um Fair enough, I think we weren't good enough. Levante put them aside, six goals to two. And then in the Bronze Cup semi-final, we had the midfielders coming up strong in the first half um, in the neutral stadium. Uh, it was Evander and Brian Boring on the case. And now we finally get to play the runaway league leaders. It's been all season long. Look at all these games. And not one has featured Celtic. That is insane. Um, I understand it is a fantasy database. So it's not going to be uh, crisp and uh, perfect. But I'm certainly looking forward to this. It's been such a long wait. I've named my side yet again. I'm sticking with the 4-2-3-1 formation. Um, my creative juices haven't really been flowing. Because I'm more concerned about leaving players out for too long. Um, and making them unhappy rather than getting to pick my favorite players uh, in the best of form and uh, you certainly have to understand that a lot of games coming up are within three four maybe five days between each other such as Atalanta, Sampdoria, Bordeaux, Celtic again, Celtic for the third time, San Lorenzo, Deportivo and Club Bruges, AZ Alkmaar uh, that will be our run in for the season very very competitive so I want everybody making a fair contribution when they are available to pick um, I'm certainly looking ahead to the future but we'll have to play our uh, strongest team where possible we've got uh, Zhang Suasi, Du Shuang and Jiming Hao all on the field so the Chinese um, trio will certainly bring in the audience from around the world we've got the uh, Le Mans FC uh, contingent of Ali Bamba, Rakdo Jovicic, Yusuf Musakni as well. Brian Wheeler, by virtue of being the top scorer, gets to pick um, his moves in the uh, sole striker position. 
and uh, let's turn on the sound and uh, we won't forget about that um, the team talk is here um, it's changed a bit since the new winter update has been uh, released um, so we want to see the fans happy we can now pick defense midfield and attack uh, in our team talks as one of those uh, mentioned updates um, so there we go we are pretty happy everyone reacts as if this is the title decider and in fairness it certainly is one of the two uh, on my mind so here we are the kickoff is here we've got the teams huddling together the strategies have been discussed all week long where possible even with the Stoke game interfering with uh, our training schedule that's a really poor pass it must be said but um, certainly a bit of a mute crowd I might need to turn up my headset to get myself uh, immersed but here's Johnny Hayes to Scott Brown he's lost the ball to Ali Bamba how about Dushwang he's on a yellow card uh, suspension risk Brian Wheeler works together with Yusuf Masakni goes out to the byline and it's often side netting from Brian Wheeler who would love to certainly uh, make a name for himself once more he's the top scorer and he's got to keep going and a risky pass doesn't pay off uh, it's Patrick Roberts to Armstrong and Moussa Dembele has belted it home past Andriini and hasn't taken long for Celtic to show their class here at memory lane and we've got to respond in kind we have time on our hands brian wheeler was inspired by the frenchman but not necessarily as uh, effective here's jung on the ball moritz and now patrick roberts oh lovely play again from the celts it's another risky pass um hitting nobody and that's actually going to uh, go out to a goal kick that was so poor I can't even commentate properly for it but here's Johnny Hayes a player I would like to see uh, considered for Republic of Ireland duty one day but here's Rakhto Javich it's low cross and it was never going to be missed Brian Wheeler has uh, delivered the equaliser lovely play out uh, wide from the centre attacking mid and uh, it was easy as you like there was no doubt in my mind he was going to score and uh, we struggled with possession, but I'm not too fussed. I like the direct approach that my players bring. That's a great tackle by Frank Reeves. Over to Brian Wheeler. All alone, but John Schmid, the Ram Deuter, has space in the sack. He should have buried it, I think, rather than go for placement past Bogdan. Um, interesting play. Now, he might go counter-attack due to our um, preference to give the ball away. Good header. And now Brian Wheeler. Uh, no composure that time. And there are just so much uh, pieces of action to comment on that I can't even look at my statistics. It's one thing it's hard to get used to on this new football manager. You can see how much more dominant Celtic are on the possession. Brian Wheeler, one-on-one -on -one there with Bogdan. It's a beautiful save, though, from the Hungarian. And maybe we should be 2-1 up. Um, no woodwork uh, hits. That was something I thought might have happened. Here's Musa Tembeli. Gets past the defender, but he's also shot into the advertising boardings um, it's almost um, it's almost comical how bad some of these shots have been today but here's Johnny Hayes and another example of a terrible shot where has the quality gone from these top quality sides um, here we go uh, half time is approaching we've almost met the bill of a huge clash but it's still a bit uh, lacking in some areas we can't uh, panic, but I have to say Celtic were the better team apart from the fact they've only hit that uh, successful goal on target. I think Celtic were the better team, and I just have to say I'm not happy. It's cruel. I have to be mean to the players sometimes, even though I have uh, nothing but admiration for them all, as you will know. But we'll have to uh, go all over again in the second half into attack mode, see if we can pressure the Celtic players into fatigue or just overall stress. Xi Ming Hao were the uh, rather tame um, and lackluster uh, effort for the ball. Patrick Roberts shoots wide with his left foot. That's Celtic's uh, ninth shot and it was also off target. Stevens with a header. It's not particularly effective. Here we go again. The Chinese uh, duo working together. John Schmid has to run all the way and it's saved I think from Yusuf Masakni and Bogdan. Uh, we'll catch that one second time out. Yeah, that definitely was a save by the goalkeeper. 
How about Johnny Hayes switching the play? Patrick Roberts unmarked. That's not a tall smart. And another wide from Celtic. I'm really, really disappointed by this. Um, Brian Wheeler. Onwards and upwards. Lovely pass for Schmid. Maybe he could have taken a, a progressive touch forward, but it wasn't um, in his mind. So he missed the opportunity. And we may take off Duchuang. I don't want to see him suspended. And Jose Eddie Carlos could fill in that role for me very nicely. Um, hmm. A poor performance from Misakini there. Um, who could we bring on? Uh... Yeah, I know Jason Wood is the uh, only sort of wing base player I could pick. Um, yeah, I could put Mesa in um, and maybe narrow the play a little bit. Just John Smith have that ability. No, he doesn't necessarily. Um, so what could we do? We might have Javicic out wide. He did get the assist for me. Um, I'll put Mesa in the middle as a shadow striker. Um, I know it's going to be upsetting for Arakto. Um, but I will leave him out there for a little while longer and give Jason Wood an opportunity later. Um, I look at some of these uh, condition percentages and they're very, very low. Stuart Armstrong, 67. Uh, is it? Who is it? It's Stevens. Oh, I didn't catch the name. But anyway, Frank Reeves. Route 1 free kick. John Speed. And it's another tap in for Brian Wheeler. His braces are so, so crucial to this team. It doesn't have to be every night and every day. But when he pops up, he's often there again and again. Not just for the once, uh, once off. It's 2-1 to the Hall of Famers. And we can now think about some changes uh, heading forward. Um, we could take off Javicic now. I think he's plenty tired. Um, we could take off Xi Ming Hao and play uh, Siebe Shrivers and put up two strikers and then maybe Anthony Dallad yeah we might take off John Schmid add Anthony Dallad for a new um, risky formation maybe yeah that does look a bit silly now that you think about it so what can we do um, hmm it's a tough one. I don't want just the one midfielder all alone. Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe move Jason Wood backwards. Let him play as a, a regular centre mid, a deep line playmaker. Um, have the two attacking midfielders spread out left and right. Um, we want Shadow Striker on Yairo. We want Siebe to be a poacher. Uh, there we go. That's our... Uh, maximum uh, allotment of substitutes so there we go um celtic have brought on tom rogic i'm surprised he didn't start the match um but he is extremely tired so we have to hand it to the australian he can't be uh, working uh all the time we've got more substitutes uh, james forrest is a huge player and um what's his name Mik mikhail lustig as well in center back and um, we want to concentrate now Christopher Ayer is also playing center back but could that mean uh, more pleasure for our strike force here's Dad and now Brian Wheeler off a Jason Wood pass and Jebe Strivers nearly capped off the afternoon with a beautiful goal he could do it again here for Dad Wheeler has the opportunity for a hat trick he can't turn uh, quickly enough Jose de Carlos already booked Jebe Strivers just wide and it is Kieran Tierney, low corner. He did successful. Um, he did successfully worry our defence, but Jebby Shrivers breaks away. Then that should have been the hat trick. Deja vu. Um, a Celtic failed to deal with the low cross again, but we should have made a 3 1 game over. But it's going to be another breakaway for Brian Wheeler. Two options ahead. Yari makes that first time pass. It's offside, though. Not necessarily what I'm looking for. We're going to go low crossing as a permanent instruction. Mortis. Or Moritz, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Zangtosi clears. It's Siebe Shrivers breaking again. Oh, Eddie Carlos from nowhere. Oh, another chance gone. I think the communication broke down for the Hall of Famers. But it was nearly a gorgeous opportunity converted again. James Forrest, another Route 1 clearance. It's going to be Young. And Tierney from way down deep. And Dembele could have beaten Andrini a second time. Just like Brian Wheeler did. Down the other end, Lenehan with a good tackle. 
Reeves, another route one pass, and Strivers! Ah, oh, he's hit the crossbar. Ah, oh, so unlucky. And um, we really do have tired uh, opponents on the field. We've made our changes. No hat-trick uh, ball. Uh, hat-trick match balls just yet, but there it is! Just as I was trying to uh, emit it out of my mouth. It's Brian Wheeler's hat-trick. That's why I need to be starting him every week. It's not going to be possible with the fixture congestion. But Celtic will be worried now. They will not be champions today. It's not going to be an easy run-in. We are now uh, on the cusp of 70 points, which will get us uh, right into the title race. Minds have been ahead for so long in this season. But we're finally going to be able to catch up to them with one more win. They can't do a thing about it with those uh, extra games we have to play. But if we play like this until season's end, we will be promoted as champions from the Bronze League. And Brian Wheeler could get a fourth! Oh, it's absolutely stunning. 20th goal of the season for Brian Wheeler. He's going to be giving nightmares to the Celtic players. We'll have to play them again at Celtic Park. I hope they will be better rested in that occasion but the Hall of Famers have stunned our uh, adversaries in the first ever game and it's Brian Wheeler recording a four goal route it was all down to him a heroic performance when it looked like Moussa Dembele had shown the the league leaders the uh, vision of what to do but there we go it's a huge victory for the players it puts us firmly in control of the uh, narrative of the season great performances from the likes of Frank Reeves Brian Lenehan and Ali Bamba in the defense wasn't a marquee afternoon for the substitutes but Brian Wheeler 9.8 average rating John Schmid uh, in an unfamiliar left wing position also uh, making his stake for uh, a man of the match performance but there we go everybody's happy but Brian Wheeler player of the match undoubtedly he was the man and I was very very impressed with everything and um, he doesn't really um, respond but in fairness to Chevy Shrivers he came off the bench and got two assists you'll remember the third one that was so important but there we go we're already 2-1 up before he came on but what a partnership we've seen Brian Wheeler um, has definitely made himself the elite player in the Hall of Famers club, especially when it comes to the attacking duties. We've won 22 times, the same amount as Celtic and the same amount as Mainz, and it means we just need to record a few more victories and the league lead will belong to us with just uh, a few games remaining, but we can't rest on those laurels. We'll return to see how the league progresses and if necessary, we will go to Celtic Park, repeat the feat against them in the Bronze Cup final, play them in the league, and maybe we will go top if we beat them there and then. The gap will possibly shrink already when we have nine points uh, on the table in our next few games. We could go on 78 points, but if we beat Celtic away from home as well, then we will certainly go on to win the title. I hope you'll be able to tune in for those epic uh, run-ins uh, for this Bronze League Championship. Thank you for watching. I'll speak again soon. Goodbye.